Good morning. Y'all are not going to believe this. I've never seen anything like this. First of all, my sage is burning off the chart. Un freaking real. Look. I've never seen anything like this. Watch this. Jesus have mercy on us. Never in my life have I ever had sage burn like this. And then this. What the hell is going on? This one right here. Please scatter my enemies and keep them away. Scatter my enemies. I was just having a conversation with somebody in never mind where, but about this kidnapping. And this is what the results of that was. My sage and this is just too much negativity. It's not able to get to me at all. But it's definitely negative energy. Thank God for my protection. This is a different stick altogether. And look. If you don't believe in negative energy after seeing this video. Mm. Anyway, let me find my own. Let me find my stuff. my black tourmaline and my lapis all right i've been told to do something a little different this morning how do we need to heal ourselves holy spirit can you please move me out of the way and use everything you need to use to get a clear picture of what might be going on this morning show me clearly how we need to heal ourselves holy spirit Temptation and courage came out. And then on the bottom of the deck is the sexual arts again. You know, this whole situation to me is about something that might be going on within the Catholic Church, possibly, or some sort of charity that's connected to the Catholic Church. and human trafficking. You might have on a blue shirt, black, black jacket, black pants, red Japanese maples are standing out to me. Blonde, dirty blonde curly hair. long dark almost black brown hair shoulder length maybe a little past your shoulders if you're a man red hair here red hair is coming out strongly ten three six ten three oh six that date might mean something to you Three three ten might mean something to you. All right. What else do you want to do here, Spirit? 
Okay, something about temptation here. Encourage. Somebody might be tempted somehow, but let's get some clarity. Can you show me what temptation might be about, Spirit? Clarify temptation. Clarify temptation, please, Spirit. Please clarify temptation. Healing, runner, chaser, and cultural factors. Can you clarify courage? Memory. And then sexual arts. Something happened in March. Or might be going to happen this month. could also be something that happened back in December. Alright, let's see if we can pull out any more details. Can you pull out any more details about this one right here? What's this temptation about, Spirit? Phone call, text, letter, text messages or something. You'll be getting some communication from this person soon. This is something that needed healing because this is probably a twin situation, but somebody was either running or chasing, being chased or they were running. There was some cultural factors that could have been involved here, and it looks like there might be some communication coming about this situation soon. Now, can you clarify courage here? What are we being courageous about? There's memory. And somebody was blocked on social media and they need to work through their fears. How about sexual arts? Somebody's ready. I guess somebody's ready for a healthy sexual relationship. I don't know. I have no idea. Sleep on it is on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see if we can pull out more details from another deck somehow. And this might just be one situation. We might move into something different before this video is over. Can you clarify temptation with this tarot? Clarify temptation. <coughs> be, be very certain of what we're saying here, Spirit. Clearly speak to me about temptation. Has something to do with a marriage that ended. Anything else? And it had something to do with some kind of addiction. And it could have been this sex. Because this is a card of obsession. This is a card of a marriage ending. This would be celebrating a marriage. This is not celebrating a marriage. And this is a card of a this is the divine helping us to overcome or identify an obsession and it came out sideways so maybe you're identifying some kind of obsession either a drug addiction or a behavioral addiction it could be anything it could be substance abuse it could be you could be addicted to money you could be addicted to sex you could be addicted to eating you could be addicted to gambling um, anything that you become obsessed with. You could be obsessed with a person. This could be somebody who was obsessed with a person. And there's going to be some communication soon. You might have a different culture than this person. And you might have been chasing this person. Or they might have been chasing you. And you were probably going through a time where you had just gone through, a, you know, like a divorce or something. And you were vulnerable. And it just became a temptation because you were lonely and sad. All right, let's clarify this courage spirit. What's going on with courage? No bullshit energy, please. What's going on with courage? All right, this is some commitment that you had is, is on the rocks or ending. Clarify what you're saying. Why is this hierophant coming out here sideways? 
Okay, there's an old relationship with a with an with an earth sign. Okay, this is Capricorn. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius. Taurus. This is who I have showing up so far, and now I have Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. All right, this is what's going on here, okay? We have memories. This is probably the person you were married to. And your relationship is struggling or is still struggling. And they probably blocked your phone calls or your text messages and maybe blocked you on their social media. And you're no longer able to contact that person. And you need to work through whatever fears you have about that. And this, this is an energy of an older man. He might have a beard. He might like to read. He might have a dog or he might love dogs. But it's somebody from your past. It could be somebody from your childhood. If this isn't your significant other, it could be a family member that, knew, that you knew when you were younger. It could be an uncle. It could be... Any a grandfather, any older man in your life. Okay. And then clarify this sexual arch and I'm ready over here. Somebody's ready to start something new. You might have on yellow today. Jeans. Tennis shoes. A jacket that zips up. You might have long brown hair. The divine is ready to give you a new beginning. You're ready to start over. Something you were going around and around in circles about. Spirit saying, that's enough. You're ready. You're ready. Can you please clarify the devil spirit? Somebody's family is going to step in and help them. To get out of a difficult situation that they're in. There could be four children involved here. They could be grown children. And there could be three. One might be passed away. There's a man and a woman here. That look like they were very happy at one time. This was a very happy family. This is the same man. For some reason I get the feeling that. This is a family that's struggling and not a love. But this looks like your family is about to step in and do something to help you to get out of a difficult situation you're in. And this is the difficult situation. Anything that makes you feel locked in and like you can't get out. They might be going to bail you out of jail. Or you might be about to bail somebody else out of jail. And that's that obsession, that devil, that's the devil. That clarifies the devil. So what has you locked up, whatever has you locked up, whatever has you feeling like you can't move, your family is about to step in and help you, is what this looks like. Clarify this king of pentacles. This King of Pentacles is intuitive. This man in your life is intuitive. And he knows that the only way for you to be transformed from this situation is to be out of it now. Because you've gone as far as you can go there. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready and they know it. Clarify death in reverse spirit. That's that high priestess in reverse. <clears throat> you might be, you might be an, you might be a fire sign, or that might be one of your placements. Your family knows that you need their help, or that they need your help, or you. What am I saying? Your family knows you need their help. Oh Lord, my mind just went in two different directions at once. Because what's going on here? You would never be able to get through this without their help. And they miss you. That's what they want to happen. 
<clears throat> Clarify the fool spirit. What are they ready for? What's this new beginning about? All right, this is what's on the bottom, the happiness, all the happiness. And then this is like your family being tight, your money being right. You have everything that you've ever dreamed of, happiness. But I need, Spirit saying I need to get a different set of cards to look at this further. Do you want to go with these or these, Spirit? Which ones? Okay, we're going to start out with these and see if we can clarify this message further. Can you please clarify the devil, this temptation? This could be, this could be, this temptation could be drugs. It could be any kind of temptation. Something that's tempting you, that has you feeling like you're stuck in life. And you have family members that love you and that are coming to help you out of this situation. And there, there's probably several of them. There could be eight people that want to help you, that love you, and they see that you're trying to make a commitment to do the right thing. That's what's happening here. You have an uncle, a father, a grandfather, or somebody who sees that you're trying your hardest to be the best that you can be, and they are coming to help you because God is showing them that you're at a place in this situation where where whatever's going on, whatever this looks like to you, this difficult place you're locked into, you can't get any further with this situation without help. Okay? So, clarify. Let's clarify this message again, Spirit. What do you want to say about this message over here, this temptation? Clarify what I'm saying to be true, Spirit. Clarify. Thank you so very much. The tower. Yep, there's going to be a tower. There's going to be a tower. That's that tower. Clarify this tower, Spirit. Where's this tower? Whoa. <clears throat> okay. Can we please? Oh, what's this? It's almost the end of this very difficult situation. I'm going to put it back, though. It'll come back out again. Holy Spirit, clarify the tower, please, and just thank you so very much. Oh, 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 it's in delay right now, but Spirit is fixing to give you a new beginning, and it's going to be something that's very, very important to you, something that makes you very excited. Something that gets you out of bed in the morning. It's coming. Clarify what I'm saying is true, Spirit. Why is it in delay? Because right now they're thinking about how hard this has been for you and they're planning to help you and it's your family again this is your family making plans to help you because they see how hard you're having it and how hard you're trying but clarify this this um courage over here spirit Alright, settle down now. I need you to give me some clear answers here. None of this bullshit. Yep. They're tired of watching you take crumbs. And there's the night. They, they, they see that you're not a player anymore. And that you're not going to beg anybody to do anything for you. That you're trying to do it yourself. And they also see that it's been a real struggle and that you've been very heartbroken over this. And that the only thing missing in your life right now is this love from your family. The only thing missing is love. You could even be sick. You could have some kind of illness because of this addiction. You could have really gotten sick or, or maybe not because of the addiction. You might just be sick. Alright, so... <coughs> the temptation started.
with you needing healing from something you were chasing or running. Maybe that was drugs. You might have been running drugs or chasing them. You might have been dealing with people outside of your race for this. And then you're going to get communication from these people soon, either by phone call, letter, or text, okay? You're going to get communication from your family soon about this situation you're in that you can't get out of because your family sees you've been trying. And then over here it says that you were blocked. They either blocked you by phone or they quit talking to you. They could have just, you have good memories with your family. You used to get along real good with them, but something happened, probably this addiction or this situation, whatever this represents, and you ended up not speaking to them because they might have stopped taking your phone calls or they might have blocked you or something. But now they see this man, this king of pentacles, this earth sign sees that you're trying and they want to help you now because they're intuitive like I am and God is telling them that you're ready in this sexual arts it's not about sex at all it's about something that happened in March it could be about sex but it's more about this new start that you're gonna have and the new start might be in March that this could happen this month but let me clarify it with this deck what else spirit Maybe you're going to talk to them and they're going to find out that you really are ready. I don't know why it came up as sexual arts, though. Maybe that's the only card that can represent. It's talking about being healthy in your sexuality. Being pure. Being celibate. Not sleeping around. Not having a lot of impurities in your life. Okay? Clarify this new start this healthy sexuality spirit it had something to do with that queen of swords that was stabbing somebody in the back or a queen of swords that they were sad about something to do with a queen of swords gemini libra aquarius who is had a lot of regret clarify what you're saying Somebody you were going round and round with, and maybe you finally stopped going round and round with this person. Yep. It was an old relationship that you kept going back and forth with, and you finally ended that. And so your family sees that you're trying. Same message. And on the bottom of this deck, we have the sun on the bottom of that deck, which is the happiest card there is. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of this deck. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can get for you. Let's just see what comes out of these. For some reason, I love these cards. Spirit, can you show us what it might look like when their family does help them? You might be the family that's going to help, or this might be somebody that's going to help you that's in your family or your tribe. What is this going to look like, Spirit? What message do you have out of this deck of cards? Can you speak to me, please, Spirit? <coughs> and I want to say, too, that I have been praying about this YouTube channel because i got to go back to work. And I was very specifically told, which first of all, let me just say, I don't care about the numbers. I could give a shit less how many people watch these videos. If only one person gets something out of it, then that's all that matters to me. But I was very specifically told that the reason why this channel hasn't grown any more than it has as much work as I've put into it is because there's somebody that's coming to help me and they want them to know how important they are to what's happening here. And so it's not going to. I know that don't make any sense, but I'm trusting what I hear because I know that they wouldn't lie to me. There we go. Embracing. There's embracing again. Community. Embracing community leadership. And then I have trust. Pleasure and simplicity. 
when you come out of this difficult situation with this obsession, you're going to have a lot of good shit. There is going to be some healing chaos, though, eventually, but that's not surprising because we have to go through things in life that are difficult. All right, Spirit, what do you want to say about these cards? All right, this card, Embracing, it has, to, it has a feel of a new beginning. This, this has this... I just have to clarify them though because I I want you to get get what Spirit says. I want you to see how amazing these cards can be when they keep coming out and showing you the same message. So you'll see that what I'm saying is true because I can't say it nearly as well as Spirit can say it for me. And I'm going to pull a card on that healing chaos that's coming too. But you remember I said you might be sick. That might be about how you need to get treatment for your illness. Maybe for this addiction that you have. If it's an addiction, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay? Alright. So, let me get all my cards here. Okay. This is what we started out with. All right, four. This is a long message for you, whoever you are. And, and family is so important. And people that are like family are so important. People that have your back and that care about you. And who won't put up with any bullshit. And you shouldn't either. Embracing. I just saw my spy card peeking at me. I see talk of a new beginning and I see my spy card. Okay. Clarify embracing, Spirit. What do you mean by embracing? It's that third party card coming out. What about it? What about it? Somebody might be finally accepting the fact that they need to help you with this situation because you can't deal with it on your own. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please. And this can be a card of working together with others on a project. And those three people here that are doing some kind of creative project. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please, Spirit. What is this Three of Pentacles about? Spirit said put it back. Clarify embracing. Please clarify embracing. <laughs> Please clarify embracing. Somebody does not want me to tell you what embracing means, but I'm going to anyway. I got all day. Can you please tell me what embracing means? Angels, spirit guides, can you please help us? So we can get the true meaning of embracing. What does embracing mean, spirit? What am I doing wrong here? Holy cow. There's, a, there's an earth sign and a water sign. And there's a lot of love. Like divine love. It's the beginning of a divine love. It's the beginning of a love that spirit has for you. But why is the two of wands not in the upright? Why aren't you planning this? It looks like this man. This person in your life. That's that same king of pentacles. Either that is you or it's a family member. Clarify why the two of wands is in reverse. What's this king of pentacles up to, spirit? Why is the two of wands in reverse? Somebody is spying and manifesting 
Now, either you are this earth sign and you're trying to work this out with this water sign or you're his family. You're this person's family. But I'm going to clarify who this is. this King of Pentacles the one that's doing this or is this a family member? Clarify if they're family or not, Spirit. Is this the person or is this family? It's two different people. So this, your family member is spying and they're trying to manifest or they want to work to help you to get to this, this water sign or maybe you are this water sign and they know they've been spying and they clarify the two of pentacles. That's what I saw and I think they come up as a cat in, in the bowl. Yep. They've been watching these videos and they know exactly what is going on in your life from watching these videos. I'll be damned. Alright, now we know what's going on here. This person has been watching the videos and they know what's going on in your life. Clarify community. The, yep. They want this nightmare to end now. <laughs> so you can have a new start in the community. Clarify leadership. They know that once you come out of this situation, you're going to help other people. Now they want to help you help other people. Oh, wow. And there's your family. They know that not having a family with you during this time is what's prepared you for this new beginning as a leader to help others. Clarify trust. It looks like they are very, very proud of you and that they know that you have done a lot of hard work. Clarify trust. They trust you now. Your family trusts you now. They trust you and they're ready to take you back. They want you in their life again. Clarify pleasure. <clears throat> this is an air sign that's reaching for better. But let me clarify. I think that it, who is this air sign? Who's reaching for better spirit? Is it the air sign or is it this water sign that decided that she wasn't? Uh-huh. This movement, clarify where this movement was. What happened with this situation? This king again. This king of pentacles again. What about this? I thought this was a water sign. Why is it showing up as an air sign now? There's that same card. Somebody manifested this. Who did they manifest it with, Spirit? <laughs> oh, God. But who is this person, this air sign? Is this who they're supposed to be with? Or is this who? It looks like you moved away from this air sign. Yeah, you moved away from them because they, you realized that this person was going to stab you in the back. So you moved away from them, and your family's aware that that happened. All right, Spirit, what else? Okay. You weren't reaching your potential, and you walked away from that and stopped being defensive. You stopped defending that, whoever that person was, because you know you have another person that you're supposed to be with all right now we know what's going on we have an emperor and the only thing missing in your situation is the money the only thing missing in their situation is the love it's the same people but this this is progressing this is progressing Spirit, can you show me clearly who this might be also want to clarify simplicity. Let's clarify pleasure. Clarify, clarify pleasure. I hope y'all are keeping up because I'm. Mm. 
somebody's heart's broken and you're going to hear about it. Oh, it's not anymore. It was. It was broken. And it had something to do with the nightmare ending. Or this card can also represent somebody getting something that they were really excited about getting. They were really looking forward to getting. And they didn't get it. Somebody was maybe promising to help you with something and then they changed up on you at the last minute. It can talk about that and about how that really pissed you off. Or it could also be that somebody is sick and you're going to hear about that. But let me clarify what's being said here because this is supposed to be about pleasure. This is something that was supposed to be pleasurable, but it's not looking pleasurable other than the sun is here. But somebody was at the end of something that was the nightmare and breaking their heart. And it might just be that you're going to hear that this nightmare is over. And that's going to make you very happy. But clarify this. Yep, there's that Leo. There's that Leo. This Leo, they're moving away from this Leo, just like we've been talking about. They want to restore balance to the situation. So they're going to do away with this fire sign. And in, in the readings, it's been showing up as a Leo, but it could be any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They disappointed you for some reason. And you're moving away from them. And it had something to do with karma. It could have been something that happened in February. June could be significant. It could have been last year. It could have been June of last year. February of last year. Or April of last year. Those dates are probably significant to somebody. But whatever they've done, it's very much disappointed you and broke your heart. And it's not made this nightmare any easier that you've been going through. All right, clarify simplicity. Walking away from what doesn't serve you anymore. Walking away from this and what's going to happen once they walk away, spirit. You might be a little sad about it. <clears throat> You're close to the end of something that's been very, very difficult. Just be patient a little longer. Or you might lose your patience with this person at the end. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to clarify what's happening here. What are you saying? Yeah, this old relationship, this Leo, it's the Leo. You're not going to fight with them anymore. They don't get along with your family. This is who you're going towards right here. This Queen of Cups, who's also a High Priestess. Alright, now I want to look at something else. I hope I've answered all of the questions I had about this situation. It looks like I have. Alright, now I want to talk about this healing chaos, if I may, Spirit. That's showing up on the bottom of the deck. Can you clarify what this healing chaos might be about? What is going on with this healing chaos? Clarify healing chaos on the bottom of the deck, please, Holy Spirit. Clarify healing chaos. I don't know how your family's been spying on you. They might not be watching these videos. They might, oh baby, healing chaos. You are so going to be okay. Whatever you're going through, you're going to get victory over it, and you are going to be fine. There's going to be a storm, but this is how you're going to come out. With the sun shining more brightly than ever. Not only are you going to be victorious over this, you're going to be in the spotlight. 
it's going to be so amazing that it's going to amaze everyone okay all right so what i was saying is, is they might not have been spying by watching videos they could have just been checking on you into this situation like people do when they care about you family members and stuff they'll just check up on you i don't know though anything else you want to say about this situation <laughs> Nah, nah, they've been watching the videos. <laughs> they've been watching the videos trying to figure out when they should help you with this new beginning. And I guess they've decided. I guess they finally decided. Anyway, I think that's about it for today. And there's that nine cups again. Everything but the love. Everything but the love. Are they going to have a new beginning with somebody's spirit? Who is this person going to have a new beginning with? Can you tell us? Will you allow us to know? First, you got to get out of this situation you're in. And balance has to be restored in this justice situation. Then, when this nightmare is over, you're going to work with this person. Why is the chariot there, though? The chariot's there after they start working. Why is the chariot there? Where are they going? Spirit's taking you somewhere else for a minute. Where are you taking them for a minute, Spirit? Can you show me? I'm so sick of that card. Clarify this two of swords, please. Why can't they make a decision about love? Why can't they make a decision about love? Why can't they make a decision? <clears throat> oh. Probably because of this illness. You're going to have to get treatment for this illness. Will there be somebody there with them though through that? Yep. Who's going to fill that 10th cup though through this illness? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Can you give us any more specific details? It won't be this third party, Miss <laughs> Leo. <laughs> Who might it be, Spirit? Somebody that you got a lot of balance with. It's going to be with him. You. You're going to be there. Who else? Looks like you're going to work on yourself. But it's an old somebody. It looks like you're going to do your childhood I don't see anybody else showing up for you. It looks like you're going to be by yourself for a while. It looks like you're going to work with this person, but then you're going to have to go somewhere and be by yourself for a while, maybe to get treatment. That's what it looks like. But let me make sure. Can you please show me again if there's something that I'm missing? But there's a lot of stuff showing up. You're going to be doing something yourself. Maybe whatever career choice you decide to take, might you might have to travel with that career, is what it was looking like. Show me what that might look like. Why is the chariot showing up, Spirit? Can you show me again why this chariot might be showing up? 
there's, there's not going to be a tower because you're going to get out of this situation because your family's going to help you. So whatever's the, whatever you've been trying to avoid happening, it's going to happen. There, there, there's going to be help to show up. Clarify the tower in reverse. Yeah, whatever third party, your family's going to help you to get past that. All right. Now, why was the chariot showing up a while ago? After they start, okay, show me what's going to happen when they get out of this difficult situation. You're, you won't be with this earth sign for some reason. Clarify this earth sign. Why is this female energy earth sign here? That's that older man in your life. That's the older... Okay, this this might be who he doesn't like for some reason. I don't know. This There's a woman that's attached to him. You're going to come to the end of this difficult situation and you're going to start working and you're going to start getting your shit together and there's hope for you. He feels like there's hope for you if you stay away from certain people. Anything else? What should he move towards? Just getting a job? Sagittarius popped out in reverse. You just need to start working on your spirituality and getting your money straight. Alright, so why is work coming out in reverse? This is the end of you being a player, lover boy. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles spirit. And temperance in reverse. <clears throat> That's not going to work is what it's saying. Something's not going to work. And it looks like it's with this the same thing same message really it's not going to work with this with this leo because this is the one that your happiness is connected to and they're not going to let you play around with this person because this person means business that's what it looks like it's saying anything else you want to say before i close this message So it looks like you will work with that person, but then you're going to have to go away for some kind of maybe treatment or some other job. <laughs> now it's coming out that you've decided. <laughs> well, ago you hadn't decided. And you, you know that this person right here is where your obsession ties into. They're saying this person, this air sign, is is where this obsession comes from and these secrets to stay away from that air sign this air sign what happens if they don't stay away from this air sign spirit what happens if they don't stay away from this air sign that they have secrets and obsessions with probably addictions If they choose this person, that's what I fucking thought, they're going to stab you in the back again. Alright, how about the Leo? How about if they go after the Leo? Damn. Your family's going to stop helping you, I think. Clarify what you're saying. What happens if they go after the Leo? More karma. Clarify what that might look like. 
Mm -hmm. Another nightmare. You'll probably end up back in this same bullshit situation again. You'll just fuck up your whole new start. What if they go after the water sign, Spirit? I'm going to put them all back in. <clears throat> Speaking of the water sign, there she is. What if they go after this water sign? Or this empress that's a water sign. What if they go in that direction, Spirit? What might that look like? Oh, I'm going again with the damn temperance. It won't be a third party, I can tell you that, because she ain't going to put up with that shit. I'm not going to put up with no funny business either. None of this bullshit. No secrets. No secrets. They will not put up with secrets. All three of these cards indicate secrets and obsessions. And they're saying no. No. No secrets, no obsessions, no third parties. Okay, we've heard all of their no's, but what about their yeses? As long as you plan to do right and get your shit together. Why is it in reverse, though? Because you got to get to the end first. Your family together. you got to get to the end and have your family back in your life. you got to come and work with this person. you got to get busy creating and doing something creative with this person. And it has to do with work. You're going to work with this person, this water sign. You're going to work with this water sign. And what might happen once they do? This person don't put up with no shit though. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> when you do, your uncle is going to, or your dad, or your grandfather, whoever this man is, is going to help you a lot. And that's not just talk about it, it's actually doing it. There she is again. <laughs> Fuck. I give up. Y'all are too much. Y'all are too much watching these videos. Alright, let's see how the angels have our backs. Angels, how do you have our backs here? Damn it, boy. Could we please? They were all probably the right cards, too. I'm just going to give them to you. Wisdom, vision, prayer, partnership, creative power, faith. Sexuality, purity, communication, protection, music, power, grace, peace, and guardian angel. Divine plan on the bottom of the deck. And I can already tell you, you have a lot of freaking angels. And you're probably the same one who was not so long ago resistant to guardian angels or angels in general. For whatever reason, you didn't believe they were really with you. All right. Let's see how this comes out. Whoever this older man is, your grandfather, your father, your uncle, your brother. It could be an older brother. It's an older person. Either you are this person and this situation it resonates with you or you wanna, you, you're the one that they're going to help. But this person knows what's up with you. What can I burn? Here we go again. <laughs> burn it and burn it all. The ugly lies, the pain, the shame, the criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong, and the proof that you are not enough. 
burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. Today's soul action. Make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like? All right. <clears throat> oh, shut up. <laughs> Who am I comparing myself? With whom am I comparing myself right now? What you are able to see in another is only visible because it is within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. Today's soul action. Today, stop comparing and start creating. Alrighty then. Let me get you some um, answers. Go ahead. Now, I know you don't believe me, so ask the angels. Ask the Holy Spirit, ask God a question. Let's see what the answer might be. Okay. I want to clean the energy off the table from the other cards because, believe it or not, it does make a difference. All right, then. Spirit, can you please give these people the answer to their question, whoever might see this video. And right now, um, I have another candle lit in case you were wondering. I saw that one go out. These candles, I don't know, I had two candles burn up in like no time at all. The flame be like this high on them candles. Anyway, the way this works is you ask a question and then I try to get an answer for you from the card. So think of a question you want to ask the Holy Spirit and I'll see if I can get you an answer. Okay, you got your question? Unlikely. No success. And then on the bottom of the deck, if you believe. Okay? Got your question? Ready? Got your question? You're ready. Don't stop. You're ready. Don't stop. All right. Next question. You got your question? Opportunity. Look for signs. All right, I'm going to do it for you one more time. You ready? Not the right time. Look for a sign again. Okay? One more time, Spirit said. One more question. You ready? A year from now? Yes. Okay. Alright. One more time, Spirit. Really? How many questions do they need to have? Okay. Maybe you needed that. Meditation brings answers. Clear your chakras. Okay, then. Can 
Can I please get trinkets, Holy Spirit, from this bowl for whoever's video might be seen by? I have, of course, an elephant. I have a cross. A Celtic cross, maybe. I have this Catholic thing. I have that deer again. That deer again. I have a shell. Maybe the name is Shell. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's an angel holding a baby. And then I have a heart with a wing on it. These are very different trinkets than I've ever gotten. Okay, Spirit, can you show me what we need to see? These trinkets can we pull from this bowl? I don't know who these trinkets are even for. I've never even seen these trinkets. Live your dream. I have that cross again. That cross keeps coming out. I have the world for travel. I have that metal headgear. Maybe you like heavy metal. I have a light bulb. These trinkets are for other people in your life, maybe, that represent your family. I have a, a heart with flowers on top of it. And then I have that lotus flower. One more time, trinkets from this bowl. That was weird trinkets, y'all. I don't think I've seen some of those before. I have that wave. So maybe you're going to go to the ocean or maybe you live at the ocean. I have an anchor. I have an elephant again. I have a leaf for the fall. There's that little girl. There's my little girl. I have a butterfly. These are very different trinkets. I have an owl, another elephant, a flamingo that I cannot hold on to. There we go, flamingo. You are always in my heart. And then I have a starfish. Wow, I don't know any of these people. And then I have, please have trinkets from this other bowl of spirit. I have, I love you to the moon back, north, south, east, and west, I love you infinity, I have this angel, angels are watching over you, I have this elephant with the long neck, I have this cute little rocking horse for that baby, it always comes out, and then I have a cactus. <laughs> maybe you live in Arizona or Texas or maybe you're just a crick. <laughs> Lots of free spirit from this bag for this crazy reading. A lot of rocks. I have commitment. I have joy. Passion. Honor? Again? Honor? Somebody's going to tell me what that means. And then I have hope. Alright, that's your reading for today. I hope it's been helpful in some way. I don't even know what I've been saying. Something about your family. Maybe you have a family member that's going to help you for some reason because of some obsession you've had. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I've got to go to work now and get my office straight and put some pictures on the walls and make sure my internet's working and all that good stuff. All right. Be blessed. I love you.